All right. So, uh, my OBS is very good. Apparently. Uh, the issue I'm having is, uh, basically I'll be streaming and recording and then just randomly at random times the program will still show that I'm streaming and recording, but the preview will be frozen and like my Twitch stats will say offline. But the timers on the stream and the recording and like all the information at the bottom of OBS, like the timers will still be going up as if it's still streaming and recording. But if I try to interact with OBS after that point, the whole program is like broken. And Windows will be like, yo, this shit is not responding. And then I basically have to task manager and kill it. And uh yeah. I don't I don't know what the issue is. The only things that I do know is this started to happen around, uh, well not around, it started happening when I played and streamed Power World. That was the first time it happened, and I, I didn't change any settings for that game, I didn't do anything, uh, like different. My recording settings were the same, my stream settings were the same, but like, it started doing this when I played Power World. And now it's doing it for everything, because it just did it a little bit earlier while I was trying to play this. It was like 30 minutes in. Power World, it was like 5 hours and something the first time, and then the second time it was a little over 4 hours. And I don't... I don't know what the problem is, or what the issue is. I sent the login to the OBS Discord, but the problem is, is all the log says is that my stream and my recordings start, and then when I kill the program, it just says the program is shutting down. It doesn't say, like, like a specific error anytime in between the stream and recording starting, and then, like, OBS shutting down. Because obviously the log is like client side and not uh, online. So it for some reason doesn't detect when like everything shuts off, even though it thinks it's still running, which the log thinks it's still running as well. So. And yeah, like I don't I don't know. The the only things that I know is this start this this issue started when I uh when I streamed Power World the first time. Before I started streaming or before I streamed that game, because I haven't streamed it in a while. Uh this never happened. Like there's no no encoding overloaded, there's no frame drops, there's no bitrate issues. Like, everything on my my stream and everything right now is, like, flawless. I have zero drop frames, my bitrate is 6280, and fluctuating, obviously. My CPU is at 3%, my FPS is 60 out of 60, and, like, everything everything's working fine. Also, I need to reset my capture card because, uh, there's some very noticeable latency on my end. There we go, that's... very better. Uh... So yeah, anyway, I have no idea what the issue is, or whatever. Like, I tried looking into different things, and like, the only thing that, that I, I changed, uh, when I sent the, the log file in, was it said the- what was that thing called? You just linked it to me, too. Uh... The, uh, Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. I turned that off, because apparently they say OBS doesn't like that. 
But the problem is, is that's been on more than likely since I started recording videos and streaming and whatever. So, like, I don't think turning that off is going to solve anything, but it's worth trying, I guess. Since I don't have any other uh, knowledge or options of anything going on right now. That's that that is the one the one like piece of information I actually have is like when this started and it was when I streamed Power World. Like that first Power World stream I did, I played for like nine and a half hours, and like I, I usually have my preview turned off if I'm playing a PC game, so uh, to save the the video resources from that, obviously. And uh, yeah, like I didn't even notice I played that game for like nine and a half hours the first time I played it, and then. Uh, it shut down at like five, five hours and 30 minutes or something like that. And, uh, yeah, like I just, I don't, I don't know what kind of action to take. I, I uninstalled and reinstalled OBS. I updated my graphics driver. Yeah, no, I mean like, like that's the problem. Like the game runs fine. Right? When this happens, there's no issue with the game. There's no issue with my video card. Uh, like, the, uh, the driver. Like, it doesn't... Because, because you know, sometimes if there's an issue with, uh... The video driver, like, your monitors will shut down and, and, and reset and that kind of shit, and your game will just die. Like, I don't have any of that. I don't have any problems with any of that stuff. Like, all, all the programs on my computer and everything's fine. The only thing that happens is OBS just, like, gives up. It's just like, nah, I don't want to do that no more. But, yeah, it's, it's very weird because... Like, all of the meters, like, all the audio meters and everything, like, they still move and fluctuate, and it, like, like, everything, like, looks like it's working. But as soon as I, I, like, try to interact with the program, and, like, I try to stop the stream and the recording, it says it, it gets stuck on, and, it, and the button's gray out, and it says stopping stream and stopping recording, and it doesn't actually do that. And then, like, I, I can't do anything else with the program at that point, because... You know, if the if the the buttons don't reactivate or the, the program just doesn't work, like I, I have to uh, like kill it in Task Manager because it then it becomes unresponsive. So it's like there's an issue with something somewhere with this program, and I don't know what it is. I don't know what the fix. I don't know what options to change. Is there something else I found that said, uh, what was the option called? Let me find it real quick. Is that there was a post that seemed very similar to what I'm experiencing, and the dude said to, uh, disable a dynamically change bitrate to manage congestion. Well, the problem is, I don't have that turned on, so I couldn't do that. So, that... I, like I, I can't I can't turn that off to see if that's the problem And like There's no way to to replicate it because it just randomly happens like it's not something I'm doing to cause the issue It's just at a random a random time Or it's just like shuts off Like I said the first time it happens like five and a half hours in uh, Power world it was like or the second time it happened in Power World was like four hours and something. And then like, I was trying to stream this right before I came back on and explained the situation. And I was playing this game for like 30 minutes and it died. So like, I, it's, it's not like a specific time, it's not a specific game, it's just like something about this program is just like randomly giving up. Like, we're 10 minutes in and everything still seems to be running fine. Also, I don't think I have any plugins. It said I had one on there, but, uh... 
I think it's probably just my, uh, my webcam. Or something. I don't know. But I, I don't have any, like... Like, add-ons or, or, or extra stuff. All I have is just regular-ass OBS Studio. And I have, like, the... The Twitch integration, and that's it. So if that if that's a plugin, that's the only plugin I have is the Twitch integration. Other than that, everything's stock. Like I said, I just uninstalled and reinstalled OBS just to see if that would fix anything. Audio and Discord, I don't do anything with Discord while I'm streaming. Like I have, I have everything in Discord. Muted. All the sounds, notifications, all that stuff's turned off while I'm streaming. I'm not ever in in channels with anybody or talking to anybody, like so like that can't be the issue. I have the program running, yes, but other than that, like I have no clue. And, like, I'm running as administrator, I have priorities set to high. Uh, you know, all the- all the typical, like, Windows bullshit. I have all that stuff turned on. But, I don't- I don't know. I don't know... what the issue is. Because I can use Streamlabs, and Streamlabs runs fine. The problem with Streamlabs, though, is there's a lot of things about that program that are just not great, and apparently the recording qu quality isn't as good. Because I tried uh, recording Star Rail, and the quality was just worse for some reason, even though it's all the same settings. Because they don't have like the 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 P1 through 7 stuff on there like OBS does. Yeah, I'm live now, but for how long? That's the question. Not to mention it's already almost 5 o'clock, so... I don't have a lot of time to, like, play or do anything anymore. Since I've been trying to deal with this issue. But, what I'm gonna do is, uh... I'm just gonna upload this to YouTube, and hopefully somebody somewhere sees it. And they can be like, Oh yeah, I know what to do! And then... They tell me what to do, and then I try it, and then hopefully that fixes the problem. That's gonna be the goal. Is everything I've looked up and and whatever like it's it's the typical situation for me whenever I have a problem and I try looking on the internet I can never exactly find my specific situation it's always like things that are people are like oh well my bitrate drops and like I don't have that problem I, I get frame drop I don't have that problem my encodings overload I don't have that problem none of that is happening for me Like OBS just it just dies. Like that that is that is all I can I, all I can say. There's nothing in the logs, there's nothing in the in in my settings that are out of the ordinary because I've been streaming and recording on the same settings that I'm using now. Uh since I started recording in 1440p when I was playing Overwatch back in like April of last year, or whatever it was. April or May or let me find that video real quick. I still have that video up there, that like 1440p test that I did. Uh, where did my window go? Hold on a second. Worst answers are generalized. Yeah, it's it, they 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 show you like all of the like common issues, right? Like this is not a. I don't feel like this is a common issue. Let's see. Uh, playlists. Where is Overwatch? Is probably way down here somewhere. Here it is, let's see... Videos!
Here it is. Uh... It says published in May, but... Yeah, it was probably still May. So May of 2023, I've been using these same recording settings. And then, uh, even before that for my stream settings. Which is just your typical 6k bitrate. Uh, you know, CBR, 2 key interval, blah blah blah. I'm running low. La Lancazos with, with 60 FPS, 1080p, blah blah blah. You know, all, just all your regular ass settings for streaming. Like, there's nothing out of the ordinary. And my, my recording settings ever since uh, May of last year has been 1440p, 25,000 bitrate. I have the, uh, the, 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 the P system set to P5 on both my stream and my recording. I have, and, and ever since I started doing that back in May of last year, I have not had any issues with recording or anything. The only, the only things I've had issues with was that one game, that, the first Descendant. That little playtest that they did. Where OBS just, like, hated the fact that that game existed at any point in time. Like, I would turn that game on, and if OBS was running, it would instantly encoding overload, regardless of whether I was... ...doing anything, or the game was actually rendered, or, or, or whatever. So... <laughs> that is, like, the, the only issue that I've had with OBS outside of what is currently going on. Since, uh, May of last year. Other than that, like... All the games I've played have ran fine. All my recordings have been fine. There's no overloading anywhere, there's no frame drops, there's no bitrate drop, there's no... No FPS issues in, in OBS, like, there's, there's none of that stuff. Rollback OBS? But that's the problem, it's gonna be the same settings that I have now, this is exactly what I just said. Other than, like, the 30.0.2 update. Like, obviously it was a different version back then, but... I mean, wh wh when did the new version of OBS come out? Months ago? It's been at least, what, two, three, four months, maybe? It's been a while. And so if it was that, you would think it would have been happening, you know, when the update came out. But yeah, I don't know, like, uh, I updated my video, my video driver, so, like, that, like, I'm on the, the newest thing there. And that's, that's another thing, like, I have updated my video driver maybe, what, three, four, five times? Since I started recording with these settings back in May. And most of the video drivers have been fine. So unless, like... Streaming and recording Power World somehow broke OBS through uh, uh, an uninstall and a reinstall. I wonder if it has something to do with how many uh, game captures I have. Let me delete some of these to see if that does anything. <laughs> like uh, that, that may be the problem. Maybe I have too many sources. And OBS is just dying. And we can get rid of this one. And this one. We'll keep Power World. I don't have that anymore. Get rid of this. Uh, what game is this? I abbreviate all the games, so, oh yeah, we want to keep that one. Uh, no. Yes. We can definitely kill that. Let's keep that one for now. What is this? Okay, we got rid of that game. Get rid of that. Disable sources when not in use. That could be a problem, too. Uh, let's see. How do you do that? 
Oh, you just cooked the eyeball? Okay. Click the eyeballs, please. Uh, okay, okay. The hell is this? Oh, Jedi Fallen Order. It's been a long time since I played that. Uh, we'll keep Monster Hunter on there. Can get rid of that one. Because it said that on the log thing, it said like, Oh, you only need one game source! And then you can just change all of them to that one, but the problem with that is, is like, I want to have control over like each individual thing and have them all be like, only show like that thing when it's turned on. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be able to be like flipping through like everything on my fucking computer like that. That ain't gonna happen. And that might be the control freak in me, I don't know, but... Oh, good lord, I can get rid of that. Uh... Okay, that's gone. Get rid of that. Keep that one. I might actually try to play that game again in the future. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. This is card game, right? Yeah, okay. Turn that off. I need to replay that game again. I don't know why, like, uh... Nino Kuni 2, like, I've tried playing that game, like, twice now, and, like, I don't know, I just can't get through to the end for some reason. I like that game, but, like, I don't know. Every time I've tried to play it, like, I get so far, and then I'm just like, eh! So I guess that's what I'm gonna have to do, is once I'm done with the game, just delete the game capture. And then when I'm not using whatever it games, then just turn it off. Uh, I'll leave that one on there. What is this? Doom Eternal. I'm probably not going to play that game ever again. I did beat it, though. Near Wad of Mata. Probably not going to play that ever again. Final Fantasy XIV. Don't see me playing that anytime in the near future. Get rid of this one. Tales of Arise, hell no. I ain't playing that ever again. Keep that one just in case. Dead by Donkey Kong, oh boy. Uh, I don't see me playing that anymore. Like that. Should I try Neo again at some point for fun? Maybe I should. Have one scene? I have five scenes, but only use two of them. Do like I have this one for 720p or uh, PlayStation games and stuff. Then I have this is my spreadsheet one when I was doing the spreadsheet thing, which I can probably just delete at this point. But I'll keep it just in case. Well, yeah, I'm gonna finish that grind at some point. Uh, this is my my phone scene when I stream my phone sometimes. Actually, I wonder if, uh, having all of this turned on in these two is probably an issue. 
Maybe? Hey look, a camera that's looking at a wall. I don't think that would really matter though, because if it's not like your selected scene, then it shouldn't be- it shouldn't have any of that stuff loaded, right? I don't know, man! Alright, so I currently have everything disabled and deleted a bunch. The only thing it's enabled right now is the capture card. So is that maybe the, the, the issue? The, the... I had so many game captures that like... When I put the power old one in, it just like gives up because there's too many game captures going on. See, we're all activated. I just leave them all activated. Even though they're like not running. Question mark? I guess that could be a thing, but you would think if that would be... ...an issue that like the CPU thing would go up. Like it'll be a CPU usage. But maybe not. I don't know. I'm not no damn technical wizard. Sources like webcam, yeah. Yeah, that's why I just leave them all activated. So that way whatever game I play, it just pops up. Which is why I don't use one one game capture, because I like them all being separated, so I know like exactly like, what is activated, what is not activated. But I guess the thing is, is, like, how I stream now, like, I don't really need them all activated. Anyway, because I don't play, like, multiple games in one stream. Since I generally just... Uh... Like, play that one game and then I like, have that as the one video, since I'm... I pretty much just stream to record. So I upload it on the yub tubs now. millisecond before it appears on preview? Are you talking about like when you turn the game on or what? So let's see, I went from like maybe like 50 or so sources down to like 25-ish. Actually, it's probably more than that. It's probably like 60. Switching scenes. Well, if I swapped to uh, this or that, it's pretty much instant. Let me actually look. Let's see. Yeah, because I have them all set up to, uh, like, match title and find window with same executable. Scumbag, I'm trying to look at OBS settings right now. Um, but yeah, I have them all set to capture specific window just because I don't play in full screen, so it's not going to capture anything if I turn that on. Capture foreground window with hotkey? How does that even work? Hotkey. What's the hotkey? I don't know, I've never used it before, I've always just done specific window. <laughs> I've always just did specific windows, because I like them all separated. Scene non-active? I don't know. It doesn't... It says swap to it with a hotkey, which I'm guessing you'd then go to hotkeys in here and set up hotkeys for each one. But that would be terrible. 
Because that would be a shit ton of hotkeys. I think, uh... I'm just gonna do like you said, just deactivate the ones that aren't currently in use and hope to god that I remember to activate them. I'll just have to get into the habit of when I close OBS, have the preview open so I can, like, see what all exactly is available, because unfortunately I'm not a person that pays attention very well, most times. So, uh, <laughs> like, like, uh, sometimes things will happen because I don't, I don't notice it. Or I, I don't notice that I don't have certain things turned on or turned off. Because I, I forget to look. But the good news is we're... 30 minutes in, we haven't died yet, so that's good. That's good. Choose only webcam, game capture, display capture, and alerts. So you... But you play in full screen though, so that works for you, right? BRB and BRB. BRB. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing in this game. I'm just walking around, seeing if this thing dies or not. I'm full screen. Is lazy. Yeah, I don't I don't like full screen because I tap out and do shit on the side a lot. Like if I get a message, which doesn't really happen often. Uh or like I'm playing a game on the side off stream. That needs some some management or something, then let me do that. Or like if I tap out to look something up in a browser, like I did with Finding the date on that video earlier. What is in here? Right. I'm gonna ignore her because we have a potion. I'm gonna educate her. Yes, she only has one heart piece. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to see if, uh... Doing all that with the, the all the game captures was the issue. That puts me right here. Where was that before? Okay. Into the underworld? What are you talking about? I've been to dungeon f up, up the dungeon 5 and that's it. I'm trying to figure out how to get to the next dungeon, but I'm... I don't know what I'm doing in this game. I don't know nothing about the underworld, nor do I want to know anything about any underworld. Which, unfortunately, I apparently do now. I ain't worried about it. Yeah, I played this when I was a kid, and I also told you I don't remember anything about it. Because I don't. The only thing I remember about this game in particular is what I've played in the last couple days. Like, I legitimately forgot most things about both of, both of these games, except for, like, the basic mechanics of, like, swapping time and whatever. Like, obviously that stuff's easy to remember, but as far as, like, the dungeons and shit, like, I don't remember none of that stuff. Because my brain is awesome. How do I get down here? This way. Maybe 
Maybe not. Okay, so this goes to the next dungeon. This is the next dungeon. But I don't have the key to get in there. Da -da 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 -da. Talk to this guy. And that water kills me. That water also kills me. I'm just checking to see if it's like a different tile or something. It's not. What this guy say? I didn't read. I didn't even read it. Past the present. That makes sense. So basically, they want me to get to this point in the past. Is that what it is? Can't dive here. We already did all the dancing shit. We are definitely not doing that again. Cause no. I've been through here. This just takes you to the top. Which is probably where I need to go. What's out here? Okay, so this is down here. We don't have a plant to go that way. This was a dead end. No, there's a thing here. This was a dead end. There's probably something here in the past. So I gotta figure out how to get to the past. From here. That drops down to... Like at the bottom. for this guy. And this drops me in front of the thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm pretty much back to where I was already. There's nothing in here. And if we go to the pass from here, this doesn't really go anywhere. This dude's just punching the wall. But the problem is, you go back in the future, nothing's in that room. There's nothing in this room. Unless there's like a wall to blow up somewhere, but I don't think there is. Walls to blow up anywhere. And then over here is just. Wait, do I have to plant a seed here? Maybe I do. Let's try that. Let's plant a seed there. And then I guess try going into the future. I don't think that does anything though, but I'm not sure. So it's faster to just come back over here and go in the portal to go back over to that side. There's nothing under any of that. Oh. Alright.
We go cheat here. We go cheat here. Both rings. Okay. So that doesn't do much for me. <laughs> that doesn't doesn't do much. Actually, what I should go do now is get it appraised. For fun. What the rings do? I don't know. We're about to go find out, I guess. What's the easiest way out of here? I just go to town first. Is it easier to get back to town from here? We're gonna be cheating. I don't know if they're different or not. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna find out right now. I'll praise this ring, please. Red luck ring. Half damage from spiked floors. Okay. That was the right ring, I think. Let's take the left one. Let's see what the left one does. Yeah, I didn't do anything with the transferring. Because I only had my one Game Boy. And I borrowed each game one at a time, so I couldn't really do that. So we're almost an hour in, nothing's broken yet. So that's good. It's the same thing! Wait. Wait let me just double check. Make sure I, I picked right the first time, because I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I took this one down there. I'm gonna do it again, just in case. Just in case I'm dumb, because I might be dumb. Buddy, is this the same ring? Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. So it doesn't matter which one you take. Let's do that, and then, uh... So I have to figure out how to go to the past by the dungeon. 
I think that's the goal right now. Yeah, and there's nothing in here in the present. That goes somewhere. This goes nowhere. This goes... Back to the dancing thing? I think. That's a fairy fountain. I shouldn't drop down. <laughs> I shouldn't have dropped down. Gonna need these. Looking for any walls that blow up in here. I don't see none. That's fair. I don't know why I didn't jump. The game said no, and then my, my seed died. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't grab me on there on the ledge that time. Okay, and then this is just going back up and around. That's the fifth dungeon. That just drops down to the fairy thing, so let's go back in here. figure out how to get down there. I always forget how to get down there for some reason. Obviously it's this way. Nothing to blow up in here. Nothing to blow up there. Okay, here we go. So we're looking for a way to go to the past. That's what we're doing. Does she just have a vacuum? That's cheap. Do it again, dude. The driest of falls. Of course. It's right next to the dungeon. Of course, it's right next to the dungeon. in here. Oh. Well, all right then. Yeah. 
It's just a seed. Uh, you say what now? Oh, I understand. That's fair. You guys can go that way. Cool, money. Nothing to blow up here. We'll check over here. Nothing to blow up. Nothing to blow up here. This goes to the top part. And that goes somewhere. Hey, look, a thing to blow up. Hey, look, loot. I'm actually not very thrilled about that, by the way. <laughs> I don't really need reppies right now. I guess we drop down here. Hey, buddy. Lava juice. Want some lava juice? Wow, more rappies! Can I go back to the present here? Or no? It's probably only outside. It's definitely only outside. So we gotta go get this guy's lava juice to open up the other game. There's the dude. Target range. Beautiful key. I want a key. Hey, you. Yeah, I have brother emblem. Get out of my way. I'm gonna regret coming up here, aren't I? Still working here. Sure.
Platinum, I'm the best. Hi, it was too early. Neat. Oh, good lord. <laughs> that was too late. Sure. That's fine. Uh, no. I don't care about this. Okay, so now we're just on the other side of the waterfall. I gotta fix this door now, too. Oh. Let's see if there's anything under these. Nope. And we're just back at the waterfall. Oh, I can actually swim here. Okay, that means I can probably dive somewhere. Oh, maybe not. Actually, you know what? I probably do have to do this stupid dancing game, don't I? Because he said that that guy found the key, so I probably gotta at least beat the regular one. Hold on. Let's see if I can go in here or not. No. Alright, let's just do the regular level and see. I did it! It's always like right when I hit the button too, and it's just like, nope. I hit, like, I don't know, dog. That's why I don't like this shit. It's annoying. <laughs> okay. How? 
How is that too late? What? How? This shit is so stupid. I guess it doesn't help that I'm playing on a wireless controller though, so... Or with a wireless controller. Why did that work? Wait, did he just say too late? Cool. Why did that work? I was slow on my part. didn't die. That's better than 30 minutes. We'll have to do some more testing when I get home. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the answer to the problem that I'm having is. Maybe it was, maybe, maybe it was, I had too many sources in the game, and like, OBS is just giving up because of that. But, no, I don't, and the ones that I'm not using are turned off. So we'll just have to see. Do some more tests and see if it still happens, and if it does, then I don't know beyond that. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Uh, I'm gonna upload this to, to the yub tubs to see if any kind souls magically find my video and have information on what's happening or not. But uh, that's gonna be it! Bye bye!